Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started on the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you're notified when I upload new videos, which is on constant. So go ahead and do that and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram's in the beginning and in the end of my videos. Alright, so here we're just applying the, the primer I had already applied the dehydrated. So I'm just going to get my monomer liquid ready. I'm going to be using CND. Uh, the retention one only because that's all they had at my local um, beauty supply store where you need a license I got it at Cosmoprof I went to Salon Centric nobody had young nails it's so horrible I need to order it on their website but anyways so that's what I'm using and I'm using um, this go in the dark pink by Glam and Glitz and I'm just going to apply that at the bottom we're gonna be doing an ombre so it's gonna be like a glow-in-the-dark pink ombre that she totally loved at the end so it turned out perfect so I love her nail beds they're beautiful but they are a little bit heightened sometimes it is difficult to work with them when they're heightened up like that but we made it work and they totally came out beautiful I love them so much um, so yeah I'm just taking the the liquid and making sure I'm I'm cleaning my brush because if you don't constantly clean your brush you can just develop like build up all that acrylic on your brush and it just becomes really difficult to work with so you just want to keep making sure you're cleaning up your brush as much as possible And just so I don't forget to mention, I am using my Alpha Number 10 brush. It is oval. So some people have a hard time doing the ombre with the acrylic. And it's actually easier than it seems. All you really gotta do is take the bottom, the bottom color that I'm using, this light pink, and take it three-fourths of the way up towards the cuticle area. And the other... Part, the one fourth part that is on top that you see that's missing acrylic that's where you're gonna put your nail bed color and you're just gonna fade that down and you'll see in a minute how I do that Okay, so you just applied your the new color on top and you're just going to fade it down. That's basically all you're doing and to to get it properly faded down, you kind of want to add um you kind of want to add enough so it looks like the faded effect. If it doesn't look like it's fading properly, you kind of want to add some more of that color in between both of the colors and fade down from the middle of both of the colors if that makes sense kind of ba basically adding extra color in the middle and start fading it down more and then you'll get the effect but don't add too much acrylic because then it's not gonna look good at all So here's an example. I'm not putting it towards the cuticle area like the other one. I'm kind of putting it in between almost so it's not touching the cuticle. This one's towards the cuticle, but the other one was more so in the middle. And I drag it down. And then you do the top one and you drag it down. And then if you need a little more, you just take a little bit and drag it down a little more until you get the faded effect that you want.
And of course, don't forget to clean up around the cuticle area to make the filing easier because you want to see, basically you want to see the cuticle and then you want to see a little bit of your natural now and you want to see where the acrylic starts. So basically you want to see at least a little, little tiny thin line gap of your actual natural now. And then here we're just applying the clear on top of that so that way when you file the now into shape you're not losing that ombre that you just created because you could easily lose it by filing to perfect it when the ombre has already been made so it will ruin it so this basically protects the design and the fade so that's all you really want to do see how I'm just making sure my brush is clean um, basically you just put it on top or you put it in the middle just make sure you cover the nail so it doesn't really matter where you start as long as you know you're covering the nail and you're covering that beautiful ombre that you just created and it's just gonna give you the best effect and they actually blend the colors even more together when you add the, the, the top one and some people actually like like me I'm adding like the speed clear on top because that's just my go-to but some people actually like to add like um the clear with some pink tint like a sheer pink and it fades it a lot nicer um, I haven't tried it but I've seen um, some people do it and it looks really really nice it fades it a lot better together okay so as soon as that dries you're going to file the sides your lateral folds and you're going to file the free edge and get that into shape because it does this kind of the shape as soon as you apply the acrylic on top of the nails and you're going to file the, some of the I file some of the surface sometimes just to like get ahead of the game basically um but yeah we're just filing the sides for now because after we file the sides and we file the free edge and get that into shape because first of all you want to remove all that that's attached to the skin or else all the nail will lift off so that's all we're really doing but yeah we're gonna actually use a drill to file the surface and you will see that I do use a, a hand file to file the surface after the drill just because sometimes I feel like it gives you a better finish not everyone does it it, it is more time consuming but I don't mind doing it just to make sure that it's all, you know, flattened and it all looks evened out and there's no like lines anywhere or dents that I that the drill didn't remove properly. But even though your drill does really help you a lot and it helps you with a lot of the basically your speed and your time. So yeah, that's what that's for. But yeah, don't forget to file the sides and file the feet, and then you can move on to filing with your drill. And with the drill, I am gonna be using a medium bit because if you do if you use a coarse one it's gonna remove too much product and then it puts more dents into your nails to be honest so I'm gonna be using my medium bit and then we're just gonna start on the cuticle area and the, we're doing the free edge and the surface so that's what I like to do on this step I I put more time into the cuticle area the surface of the nail and the free edge and that speeds up my process also. So I just make sure from all angles the, the nails are evened out. And then what what's really important to do is, you know how I tell you to make sure your cuticle area is clean and you can see your natural nail and you can see where that acrylic starts? Um, yeah, so basically um, it, sometimes it takes a little longer to remove. So you don't want to spend too much time just filing on one thing like this part right here where I'm doing the cuticle area you don't want to overdo it because you're going to heat up their nail bed and it's going to burn them and you're going to leave indentations in their actual natural nail so what you want to do is um, do the cuticle area then do the surface and then you could also do dents on the nail and hurt them on their nail bed if you spend too much time on their nail bed so you want to move from one thing to the other so that you're not causing friction on their hands and hurting them so you see, I'm doing the nail bed, the free edge, and then I also go back to the cuticle area, and I just do that back and forth, and that's how we get the best results. See, back to the cuticle area. 
and then I go back to the surface. And then you see how the cuticle area looks a lot cleaner now because I've probably removed a lot of the cuticle that was probably attached to some of the skin and it's not there no longer. So here's where I said that I used the hand file to file the surface just to make sure there's no indentations and I did see a little kind of unevenness that the drill didn't get so that's why sometimes this is what I like to do. If not, I probably just put my, um, my fine sanding band on my drill and then I just use that to file off the, the surface also. It's kind of like doing the hand file thing so you could also do that if you'd like to. So now we're just buffing the surface, making sure it's extra, extra smooth. I'm using my black and orange little buffer that I order on eBay, and I actually need to order some new ones today because I'm running out. Okay, so here I just sprayed with alcohol and I'm wiping it off with a paper towel so her hands are free of dust and anything like that. Okay, so here I'm applying base gel and we're going to be applying these little pixie crystals on top of the nail. So the, the reason why there's a bunch of little crystals on the table is because I had applied the gel resin and then applied the crystals and that just didn't work out very well. I didn't like how it looked at all. It just looked horrible. So the best way to do this is just to add gel, gel base coat or gel top coat, whatever you want. Something to stick it on to that's gel. Um, and basically just flatten it down, make sure the sides are even, and then you can put it into the UV lamp. I'm sorry, not the UV lamp, to my LED lamp for 30 seconds. So we just added the gel top coat onto this nail, and now we're adding the pixie crystals also, flattening them out from the top and sides, and the free edge of course. And then here I'm just adding to where I needed to add some missing ones. And then we're going to add this into the lamp, LED lamp, for 30 seconds as well. And then here I am, we're just gonna apply some crystals. I'm gonna use um, my, I think these are like the 10SS that I'll be adding on this now. And we're just gonna be using, I think we're gonna be putting one in the middle, two on each side. So we're gonna be using a total of five crystals on this one now on top. She did it, she wanted bling, but she didn't want something exaggerated either. So this is what I thought of. And I actually like how it turned out. So yeah, that's basically all she got in her middle finger. She did like also like a stone in the middle and two on the side. Two smaller ones on the side. On this middle finger. And then on her pointer, she just got one small diamond. And then on her thumb, she basically got the same thing that she did on this middle finger. So here I'm just applying my gel resin. I'm using my wax pencil and I'm applying the diamonds. And this, I love this pencil, it just picks it up so good. So here are, is the finished product. And I love the way they came out. They're so beautiful, the shape is great. I love how the ombre looks together. It kind of looks like a light pink with the, another um, lighter pink on top. So here she is, she's showing you the glow effect. 
Um, she to activate it, you can put in the LED light or a lamp. So that helps it out. And then here's the effect that it got. And I love how they turn out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out my Instagram. Thank you guys. Much love. Bye-bye.